What's poppin' y'all? It's JB. How are y'all doing? Welcome to The Source. Today we're moving forward in our series, Accelerate. Hey, and so we're going to be talking... I need you to take that over to the spot for me. Thanks. Take it over to the spot? What, what spot are we talking about? Anyways, today we're going to be uh, talking about... Some of the children's drives. The children. children. Okay. These are the paperwork for the children's paperwork. drive. For the paperwork for the children's drive. Which? Anyways, we're talking about, you know, how the Lord builds us up and how he prepares us when, oh, you know... Oh, this too. Thanks. So... Hold your breath. The why teens at the toys, children's drives for the, the teens. Are, why the teens? Oh, the and one more, one more thing. This is the charger. The charger. <laughs> hey, y'all. It's me, your girl, Pastor Ma, too. And it's time hey. for us to get together and move forward our teaching on Accelerate. It's a new year, 2023. And we've already looked at some things to prepare and how we can accelerate, right? We've talked about overcoming fear. Go back and watch that one. And we've talked about traveling light. Because you know what? You can't get anywhere with a whole bunch of burdens, carrying a whole bunch of stuff. It'll hold you back. It can hold you down. Your stress, your anxiety. Let it go. Give it to God. Today, I want us to look at a passage that's going to help us discuss what God is telling us to focus on this this week okay let's do it james james 1 and 3 reads this way because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance let perseverance finish the work that in you so that you may be mature and complete not lacking anything if any of you lacks wisdom you should ask god who gives it generously to all without finding fault and it will be given to you. And wisdom says, seek God when the going gets tough, when it gets rough. Because sometimes as a believer, as a person of faith, you know what? It can be rough just being that person who believes in Jesus. It, you can feel like you're kind of put on the outside or isolated or misunderstood. And you know what? That's a testing of your faith. And right here in James, it says... The testing of our faith, well, it produces perseverance. It does. And so today, what we want to focus on is learning how to not, listen, buckle under the pressure. Okay. Don't buckle under the pressure of being different, of being called, of being anointed, of being God's chosen, and also being excited about the things of God. Sometimes you're going to want to give in. Sometimes you're going to want to give up. But God is encouraging us today to not buckle under the pressure. You know why? Because, well, there's a blessing in it for you. Right here in the Bible, listen, in um, James, again, James chapter 1, verse 12, it said, God blesses those who patiently endure testing and temptation. Afterwards, they will receive the crown of life that God has promised to those who love him. So listen, it can, it can feel like when you're accelerating in your faith, when you start reading your Bible more, when you start listening to worship music and you get good company and you get rid of fear and you just start traveling light. You don't let, you know, anxiety and stress and all those things hold you back. It can, it can feel a little wonky, a little isolating, but you know what? That pressure is maturing you. It is, it is making you complete. So listen, God's saying, don't buckle up under it. Just call on him, lean on him, and he will see you through. Yes? Yeah, that's wonderful. So you know what? Let's pray for... What are you doing? Let's pray. Let's, stop. Hey, listen, we're going to pray for him. Let's pray for us. God, I pray that everybody's watching is encouraged to not give up being a believer and not be um, just saying, I'm not going to keep going with the pressures of being a believer because they talk about me or they, they don't hang out with me. I don't get as many calls or texts as I did. That's just a season and it's going to mature us, Lord. And so help us to, to stay in it. Help us to not buckle under the pressure but to continue forward to you with you and in you because you're gonna bless us and we thank you for it in jesus name amen amen wow justin what are you doing take that stuff over to the 
Listen, um, I just want to remind you that um, during this season of Legacy Celebration, we don't want you to buckle under the pressure of feeling like your faith isn't growing. So hang in here with us. Watch these YouTubes, these videos that we have. Join us over um, on Instagram. We're at the source FCBC. God um, is going to do some amazing things in this time. Even when we're not meeting in person, he's still growing you and accelerating your faith. And then when we come back together on the first Sunday of March, yeah, we're going to we're going to have a, a really good time celebrating and and learning more together in person. But in the month of February, we are going to be celebrating our bishop who has, you know what? He didn't buckle under the pressure for 40 years. He came and delivered the word of God. He has led this this congregation and I want every age level to be in the building. And so us high schoolers, we are not well, I'm not a high schooler. You high schoolers are not being left out. We're going to be in there for the concerts, the celebrations, and even for the special guests. So come on over, see me in big church, and then we'll meet in person on the first Sunday in March. All right? So then, I'm about to go see what he's doing. I don't understand.